Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Endless Spells for the Lumineth Realm Lords. One of these box sets will cost you £22.50, so it's the same price as all of the other Endless Spells. I think I did do an unboxing of the Gloomspike Gits Endless Spells. Um, I wasn't really going to get them, but the Twin Stones of Hish are just, yeah, pretty decent. And I've grown fond of the Endless Spells of late. I'm going to try and get the, the box sets of the spells for Nagash and... Um, the sorcery and the malign sorcery spells if I can. They're a bit pricey though, I think they're about 50 or 60 pounds per box. So more than double uh, your standard um, price of uh, and the spells. But uh, I thought Lumineth, I really wanted to you know cover them completely. And this is the final unit that I need to cover. So without further ado, let's rip and tear, get into this somehow. Rune of Petrification, the Hishian Twin Stones, and the Sanctum of Amintok. That's what the uh, box looks like. A nice little bit of art of the Twin Stones there, and a nice one for Amintok, and the nice one of uh, Petrification. It's a two sprue job, and it is made in China, like all of their scenery and then their spells. This is the instruction guide. It is in black and white, yeah, unfortunately. Copyright 2020, so yeah, this did come out uh, last year. Um, very straightforward to uh, build Sanctum of Imintok, um, just a couple of pieces per, per one. The Rune of Petrification is just one piece that you put on the base, and the Hishian Twin Stones are, I'd say, the most complicated ones, but it's just um, you know a few pieces for each of the gems, uh, and then they go together, and then they just slot on this swirly part and uh, go onto the, the base. They're the rules for them. It's nice that, that you do get rules uh, for these endless spells. They are on Games Workshop's web store for free and in the Age of Sigmar app, and you get them in lots of other different languages too. Um, so there you go, that's the instruction guide. This is the sprue, or, or two sprues. Um, it's in the like harder, I say less detailed, darker plastic which is renowned in the uh, scenery kits. So there you go. This is the um, Amintok. Uh, I like the lightning. Very, very cool. Um, you know, and even on the, the rocks and things, there's a, there's a decent number, bit of detail in some schools and things hidden away. Part of the uh, twin stones there. Um, not protected underneath by, by part of the sprue, but there we go. Uh, you've got a few bases, I think 250 mil and a, a large oval base, um, or a large cavalry over, over base. Uh, you've got the rest of the base, you've got uh, the rune of petrification, which just slots on one of the bases, and then the um, crystal twin stones themselves. So yeah, they look decent, they're fine, they'll do the job. Nice little addition to uh, Lumineth Realm Lords. Uh, I will be going away and uh, building them. Shouldn't take me too long. And uh, I'll give you the, the rules and things from the new um, Battle Tome. I completely understand. I'm yet to review the rest of the new Lumineth range. Um, a few things got in the way. What do you guys think of the Endless Spells? Of these and which are your favourite Endless Spells out of all that have been released? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Be great to hear from you thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching techless protects